problem number two, solve by factoring. So again, to find the x value or values, we have to factor. And this is a trinomial with a coefficient of 1. So we use what I call the Columbian method. I'm going to write my empty sets of parentheses. And then I'm going to square root the first term. So I get x and x. I bring down my first sign, which is a negative. Multiply the two signs together to give me the second sign. And a negative times a negative gives me a positive. And then I'm going to find the factors of the third term, or just the number of the third term, which is 56. And those factors, when I have different signs in here, must subtract to give me the middle number. And the middle number here is a 1. So just the 1, not the variable and not the sign. Just disregard that, only the number, which is 1. So the factors of 56 I would subtract to give me 1 are 8 times 7, because 8 minus 7 is 1, and 8 times 7 is 56. So the larger of the two numbers, of the two factors, goes first and the smaller one second. And now we factor this problem and we have to apply the zero product rule because this is multiplication. So either one or both of these binomials have to be zero. Let's take each one of them and set them equal to zero. And x plus 7 equals zero. Let's solve for x by adding 8 to both sides and we get x equals 8, and then on the other side, let's subtract 7 from both sides, and we get x equals negative 7. So our answer to this problem is negative 7 or 8. Both values could be x, and you get a true statement.